Welcome to our video on Warehouse Co stock, where we will uncover the inside story behind why investors are flocking to this company. In recent years, WY has seen significant growth and its stock price has surged. So, what is driving this growth? And is WY a good investment opportunity? Let's find out. For the past couple of months, the stock market has not been doing that great. Many investors have been sitting patiently waiting for the perfect opportunity to raise in order to secure their profits. On the other hand, there have been investors who have been continuously putting money into stocks and thus taking advantage of the discounted prices that the market has to offer. And now they're sitting in the comfort of their home with a rock solid position in some high dividend paying company and they get to enjoy the free time they can spend with their families. But don't worry, I can guarantee you that if you continuously watch our videos, you will be able to achieve the same thing. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss the reasons behind the recent surge of investor interest in Warehouser Co stock. We will try to cover topics such as the company's financial performance, industry trends, and key drivers for growth. Through this analysis, we will provide insights into why WY stock is attracting investors and whether it's a good investment opportunity or not. Warehouser Co. is a US-based Timberland owner and manufacturer of forest products. The company manages over 20 million acres of Timberlands in the US, producing lumber, panels, engineered wood products, and other building materials. Just to put that into perspective, Rayoner Inc., which is another player in the industry, owns approximately 2.6 million acres of timberland in the US. Potlatch Delta Corporation, another major competitor, owns approximately 1.9 million acres of timberland. The Warehouser Company products are used in residential, commercial, and industrial construction. With a market capitalization of over $31 billion, Warehouser is one of the largest players in the forest products industry. Warehouser Co. has been generating strong financial results in recent years, driven by many factors such as the robust demand for lumber and other forest products in the US. In 2020, the company reported net sales of $6.8 billion and a net income of $660 million. These results represent a 9% and 66% increase, respectively, compared to the previous year. The company's operating cash flow was $1.2 billion and it returned $627 million to shareholders through dividends and share repurchases. Investors are flocking to Warehouser Co. stock due to several reasons. Firstly, the robust demand for lumber and other forest products in the US is expected to continue due to strong housing demand, low interest rates, and the ongoing economic recovery. This trend is expected to benefit WY's financial performance as the company is a leading producer of these products in the US. That does not come as a surprise though with the current strong housing market in the United States. The US has experienced a robust housing market with low mortgage rates and high demand for new homes. This has led to an increase in construction activity which in turn has driven up demand for lumber and other forest products. And it's only logical that companies like WY are going to experience growth. Not only that, but in addition to the new homes being constructed, several events that we all know about have led to an increase in home renovation and DIY projects. With more people spending time at home, or simply the fact that many assets, properties, and land constructions have to be restored, Many people are taking on projects such as building or repairing stuff such as decks, fences, and other outdoor structures, which has of course further increased demand for lumber and other forest products. Sadly, the pandemic and the war that has been going on have been disrupting supply chains for many industries, including the forest industry, and this has resulted in a shortage of lumber and other forest products, which has driven up prices. Luckily, Warehouser is a really big company and it can benefit from the fact that simply because their supply chain and logistics are long established and working at full capacity. Also, not to mention the worldwide demand for timberwood that is continuously growing. The United States are a major exporter of lumber and other forest products and demand for these products from other countries has also been growing stronger and stronger each day. This has further increased demand for such products in the US 
which of course means more money in the pockets of Warehouser. Another thing that newbie investors might have missed is that Warehouser Co. has been implementing several initiatives to improve its financial performance, including cost-cutting measures, capital investments, and portfolio optimization. The company is focused on driving efficiency, productivity, and innovation, which is expected to support its growth and profitability in the long term. The company is ran by individuals who surely know what they're doing, and simply there's no other logical outcome other than seeing the company grow and grow each day. This is what happens when you work as a team to beat the harsh reality that the stock market has to offer. In 2020, WI announced a comprehensive cost-cutting program to reduce its operating costs by $300 million annually. As part of this program, the company has been focusing on reducing its overhead and variable costs, improving its supply chain efficiency, and optimizing its manufacturing processes. By the end of 2020, WI had achieved $225 million in cost savings, and it expects to achieve the full $300 million target by the end of 2021. I don't want to bore you with numbers and stuff, but if you're interested, you can Google the company's next projection of cost cutting. It will surely blow your mind. The company has also been investing in several capital projects to drive efficiency, productivity, and innovation in its operations. In 2020, the company invested $390 million in capital projects, including modernizing its mills, expanding its production capacity, and upgrading its technology infrastructure. These investments are expected to support WI's growth and profitability in the long term. Another amazing thing for investors is that the company has been also optimizing their portfolio of assets and businesses to focus on its core operations and improve its financial performance. In 2018, the company completed the sale of its cellulose fibers business for $2.2 billion, which allowed it to reduce its depth and strengthen its balance sheet. In 2020, WI announced the sale of its Michigan Timberlands for $300 million, which is expected to further improve its financial flexibility and focus on its core operations. And lastly, WI's strong financial performance and growth potential have been recognized by investors, as reflected in its stock price. In the past year, WI's stock price has surged by over 80%, outperforming the broader market and its peers in the industry. To summarize, Warehouser Co. stock has been attracting more and more investors due to its robust financial performance, growth potential, and strong position in the forest products industry. With the ongoing demand for lumber and other forest products in the US, WI is well positioned to benefit from this trend. However, as with any investment opportunity, it is essential to conduct through research and analysis before making any investment decisions. Anyway guys, thank you for watching our video on the inside story behind why investors are flocking to Warehouser Co. stock. Consider subscribing if you found our content useful. See you in the next video.